welcome to YouTube channel of RV Max US. My name is Sachin Shaw. We are in Greenville, South Carolina. Here what I have is a gas coach, a 32 footer. It's a 31 SA. S is in Sierra, A is in Apple. It's a Tiffin open road. Only 18,000 miles by 500 hours on generator. Beautiful. By the way, we just put brand new Toyo tires all the way around. Six new Toyo tires. You got Elko aluminum wheels. These are 24570, 22.5. Beautiful full body paint, tiffin quality inside. We're gonna walk you through here today and show you everything we have here. So, front of the windshield, you have a massive one piece windshield. I don't see any star cracks or major damage. Front looks really nice. Look at the headlights. We had just cleared them. I mean, you know, you know how people have them at home. You can sand them down, but we have a professional guy. He puts clear coat. It'll stay like that for a couple of years. Brand new headlights. Oh, they are like brand new now. You see some of those? Yes. Thank you. Because they put a uh, masking, a uh, painter's tape, and they cover up blue tarp. I mean, what do you call blue paper all over so they don't clear anything else. That's what it was. So we got brand new six Toyo tires. It's about... 3200 bucks. Look at all the windows are free from any fog. Looks really nice. Only 18,000 miles. Couple had it for a while. They didn't use it, so they brought it to us. Lots of underbelly storage. Let's go through this. That's your converter and all the fuse and relays. Next one, your leveling jacks. It does have a hydraulic leveling, as you can see that. I'll have lights on but there we go got led lights be sure to cut them off but they work this is a pass-through storage up above the top so if you got some flag poles or some ladder like it did, it did have a ladder there all right this is your wash bay with outside shower tank flush which is a nice to have to clean out your black tank couple of hookups here if you wanted to put a little heater here while you're uh, not winterizing it and it plugged up water pump on and off here all that stuff sewer flush I mean a sewer discharge once again we got brand new Toyo tires because you're gonna tired of hearing me that but that's a good thing to have six new tires they were original tires with only 18,000 miles this thing got 518 hours 5500 QG that stands for quiet gas like qdb quiet diesel gasoline generator leveling jacks no, that was a oh it was a pass through wow okay this one is a pass through got a nice surge guard uh, automatic transfer switch 50 amp cord got a little scrub right here get it for free up charge maybe a little bit here too i've got a guy with a body shop if you really want it he could probably fix that thing for you know four or five hundred bucks if that much uh this is your money hole put your gas here five thousand pound towing capacity t c i m or whatever that brand is it's a towing uh, hitch we got a ladder to go up on top over here hey i see another little scratch up there just a little curb kisses from my i call it a campground kisses Oh, there, one, you found that too. Liz found it. See, we try to find some flaws. So those people are looking for a garage queen put in a show. Uh, this is not it. It is a new, I mean, it is not new, but it's nearly new. This is your LP tank. Got storage up on top that goes completely through. By the way, if you see a uh, guy had a extension 500, uh, oh, 250 gallon or 500 gallon, I don't know, uh, ex external tank while he was building a house that's when him and his wife lived for a little bit another little scrubs here and some of this stuff like i see a scratch here could probably buff out okay this one right here could probably buff out easy fresh water tank man it looks massive it's probably 100 gallon if not every bit of 90 gallons some i don't know how deep it goes water pump is right there very easy if it, if it goes out or want to service it or you want to winterize it yourself hey it's got a central vacuum system how about that I have to go around and turn all my compartment lights off. 
Another pass through storage. Hey, got some goodies that goes with it. Slide out rubber seal when they bought it. All right. It does have a, a outside TV coaxial hookup. So you could probably put one with a suction cup. Put a big, massive TV if you'd like. That's the back of a household refrigerator. All right. Let's go inside and show you what it looks like inside. Come on in this beautiful motorhome. It's only 32 feet, 31 SA, it's a model. So let's start in the front right here. Seats are in great shape. Some of these 15, 16 model, they have seats all tore out, ripped out. This is in really good shape. HWH leveling jacks, it's automatic leveling jacks, Bluetooth radio. It actually sounds really nice. Got a good base, 521 hours. On the generator, you got a heated mirrors, uh, automatic, what, what do you call power mirrors. Over here, we have a, let's see, privacy motorized shade. That's the night shades or privacy. And then you got a behind the back. It's the, and all the rest of the shades are MCD type. Just pull and hold. They're day and night shade. Oh, probably let them go a little too fast. Uh, Got some cabinets here, some storage, and you have this. Okay, over here we got a little iPad or laptop the tray that comes out. You have a 110 plug, so while you're running a generator or have an inverter, you can run power through that. And you know, right there, see Tiffin does a really nice little window there. So, you know, if you're looking down from a driver's seat, you can see what's going on. That's Tiffin specialty couple of cup holders there so this seat turns around as you can see here let me show you this bed right here one it's got a manual latch take them down comes down that way and then you lift it down there we go there's a ladder under the basement i just put it down it'll just go here to climb up and down so you could probably sleep one person here and it just lifts back up. Nice booth dinette with the back rest. I like it. So you could sit here and look at this. This is the focal point of this coach. Look at this L-shaped couch. I mean, it's so cozy with fireplace and a big TV here. Uh, looks like a 47-inch or I don't know. Big TV, L-shaped couch. When you travel, you put that side in. Nice little coffee table. I got that out from under the bedroom. You just flip it over and the legs go, folds up, and you can put under the bed. That's where it was at. But, you know, over here, you can just sit here. By the way, so far, upholstery in really good shape, too. So you can just sit like that and enjoy the fireplace. Man, this is this is cute motor, man. It will 32-footer, but sleeps many people. Speaking of sleeping right here, this couch has a fold-out bed that comes down and the booth dinette falls down so two here two there one up there five and two seven we'll sleep six to seven little kids maybe eight you got a central vacuum system hose that hooks up here and you can vacuum it out through the center of the coat so it can go in the back bedroom we've got a nice lg refrigerator with a ice maker up on top express cool what it says I'll tell you that the, the uh, benefit of having a household refrigerator, they cool very fast compared to those LP. And LP also can catch on fire. You got a traditional stove, and you also have a three burner gas stove. Traditional oven. Traditional oven, that's what I meant. Thank you. And then you have a, this is also cook, reheat, defrost cook time. I don't know if it's a. It, it's not a convection. It's a regular microwave, but beautiful hard surface. Um, we have two sets of keys. All the owner's manual stuff are in this bag here. Nice backsplash. Nice little window here. 
I love this wood. I don't know what it is, but it's nice glazed cherry or something. Is that a stainless steel sink? It is a stainless steel dual sink. Yep. And they got a nice mow and pull out sink. What do you call the faucet? Some stores here, drawers for your spoons and knives and all that. Oh, how about that? Some kind of. And anything over here I missed, those are just buttons and stuff for your awnings. It's got electric on. It's like a linoleum. It's like a hard tile. It's like a vinyl, luxurious floor. Uh, should have some storage under there. Let's check it out while we're doing a video. Are they? Oh, yes. Thank you. And guess what? There goes your central vacuum hoses and all accessories. When I was taking picture, I guess I didn't pull it hard enough. So they are pull out. Wow, there you go. Nice. I love this uh, kind of marble or whatever you call it. What do you do at a house? What they call them? The granite, something like that. All right, that same granite is here too. Sometimes they put, uh, no, there is no storage because you got a huge bathroom behind it, a toilet area. That's your remote for a, for your fireplace. Come through here. We do have a little privacy door. So it kind of gives you privacy in a shower area. And you got a private toilet here. Let me show you the shower first. Nice size shower. Pretty tall. And I'll tell you what little clever thing you'll see. It's got a little light. Shower light. Do you see that light? Does it come in your video? And at night, if you're taking a shower, you got a light. You open it up, you got a skylight. Really nice size shower for this 32-footer. You have a nice size Toilet area, I mean, it's pretty large. I tell you, I'm impressed. Lots of room. You got some cabin up on top. Man, what a room. Lots of room, a lot of counter space. Uh, another cabinet. Got a cabinet under there. Got some really nice spacious and really nice design. Come back in the bedroom. Here we are in a queen size bed. You, Having a little room on both sides, I always mentioned in our video that you could get an Olympic size queen bed and go a little wider. Uh, you got windows on both sides. And nice headboard back there. Nice plush headboard. Got some cabinet up on top. And this slide out in the bedroom gives you plenty of room. Walk around. Got small closet here. You can hang some stuff. Some linen and stuff. Got a big coat closet here. And then you got some drawers. I think th this is your circuit breakers. But these are drawers. And I think there's a laundry hamp, I guess. Little vanity area here. And this TV has a little, let me show you, a, has a storage under there. Oh, uh, your DVD player. A little more storage up here. And then, did you see the living room? We have a nice ceiling fan. And I love the USB hookups on both sides of a bed. So you don't need 110. You just plug your USB, Android, or iPhone. You can charge them on both sides. It's got small little nightstand on both sides. That's kind of clever. I think this will conclude our video on this 2016 Tiffin Open Road Model 30. 1SA Sierra Alpha, only 18,000 miles, brand new Toyo tires, drives really nice, short little motorhome. Tiffin does a great job on that quality. Look at all the wood and stuff. So uh, let's end our video with our information, how to get a hold of us. My number is 864-404-0054. Or Mayan, our son, his number is 864-376. Five six zero zero. Text us. That's the best way to get a hold of us. If not, email us, call us, leave us a voicemail. We'll get back to you. We do take trades. We help you get financing done. If you would like to buy a warranty, we have a couple of options. If you like to buy a warranty, I mean, eighteen thousand miles. If you're gonna take care of it, 
I don't know how many dealers are going to push you not to buy a warranty. Hey, it's a profit center for a lot of dealers and we can make money too, but I'm, I'm, it's up to you. You know, we don't push warranty. Uh, other than that, I think that's about it. Uh, please subscribe to our channel. Give us a thumbs up. Hit that bell button. So next time we'll put a video up, you'll see a next video up. We're a small family business in South Carolina. We love what we do and uh, we love to earn your business and make some new friends. RV lifestyle is great. We love it. And uh, thank you so much. Have a blessed day.